Hey everybody, it's Matt Shu from Upright Health. Today we are looking at an award-winning piece of research called uh, Radiographic Abnormalities Common in Senior Athletes with Well-Functioning Hips but Not Associated with Osteoarthritis. Uh, this won the 2015 Frank Stinchfield Award um, and it pulled this out of the Clinical Orthopedics and Related Research uh, Journal. Uh, it is a publication of the Association of Bone and Joint Surgeons. So uh, I did not just make this up. It exists and it's extremely salient, extremely important for you to think about uh, when you're thinking about surgery either for FAI and according to this also hip dysplasia. So uh, what they looked at, the main thing they looked at um, is the actual prevalence. So how many, um, how often you find uh, FAI and uh, dysplasia in senior age athletes with well-functioning hips. And they also wanted to see whether uh, finding um, whether finding dysplasia or FAI related to whether or not these senior athletes had arthritis um, or developed arthritis. So what they looked at was uh, 547 people 55% were men, 45% were women. Um, they had 1,081 hips to examine. So 534 of those were bilateral and 13 were unilateral. They excluded some hips um, for various reasons, but um, in general you had, you had 1,000 hips. You had over 1,000 hips to examine. You had 547 people. These are all athletes. Um, they pulled these athletes from a very competitive sports population. And um, what they found, to keep it short and sweet, was that in this older, athletic, well-functioning population, 83% of hips had abnormalities in their x-rays consistent with FAI. 67% of them were cam-type FAI, and 10% of, um, of these total hips had uh, x-ray evidence of hip dysplasia. More importantly is that, uh, more importantly is that uh, radiographic findings of FAI were not predictive of osteoarthritis. So what you have again is a huge number. You have 547 athletic older people 83% have FAI, 10% have hip dysplasia, but they're all functioning at a pretty high competitive athletic level, and their level of osteoarthritis, the development of osteoarthritis, apparently has no correlation to the x-ray findings of FAI or a hip dysplasia. Um, so, makes you rethink uh, the importance of these um, bony morphological characteristics. So, the shapes that they're saying are abnormal uh, don't apparently have any relationship to the development of arthritis. So, if that is the thing, that you are thinking of getting surgery for, right, to prevent the development of arthritis, this study should give you some pause and make you think, well, if you can have these bony abnormalities and they don't apparently lead to arthritis, why should I do a surgery to prevent arthritis? Right? It, it really doesn't make sense, and that's actually... Um, one of the conclusions they have here in their, in their uh, one of the things they state in the discussion is our data along with previous literature suggests that other factors aside from morphology, meaning aside from shape, may play a role in the symptomology of structural hip deformities. So translation, the shape is not the only thing that is playing a role in whether or not you have hip pain. Um, Another thing they note here is another possibility is that remodeling of the mature hip as a result of activity-related stresses is neither pathological nor unexpected. So 
Again, translation, your hip may change its, its shape, right? You may see that cam impingement shape. You may see pincer impingement shape. You may see dysplasia. It may not matter at all. And based on what they're, what they're finding here, it probably doesn't. So uh, one of their conclusions here, uh, just in the abstract, which I will link to, um, I'm going to read you the conclusion verbatim. Radiographic findings consistent with FAI in these senior athletes were common and were not associated with the presence excuse me, with the presence of osteoarthritis. These data suggest that the need to screen for asymptomatic young athletes for radiographic evidence of FAI and dysplasia may not be necessary. Um, and I would personally add that it seems like more evidence should be uh, sought to prove that there is any connection between the bony shapes right, the FAI, uh, FAI or dysplasia, there should be more evidence put forward to show that these bony shapes actually are the cause of problems since you can have such a high number of people with these problems and yet no actual physical movement problems. Um, so food for thought. Definitely take a look. The link is going to be uh, in the YouTube description. Um, and I hope that gives you some good things to think about. And I hope that you remember that pain sucks. Life shouldn't.